It's been 40 years since the last long duration energy storage system was built in Britain, but a proposed cap and floor scheme could change this. As the amount of intermittent renewable generation on the grid grows, so will the need for flexibility to make sure we have a stable supply of energy. Currently, this is provided by gas generation, which can be ramped up or down. But as we phase out gas, different technologies will be required to fill this role. Pumped hydro and lithium batteries are both established technologies for long duration storage, but they're not currently being built. This is because projects take a long time to develop and are expensive to build. There's also a lot of uncertainty around the returns that projects can make, meaning that companies are less likely to invest in them. So to provide a level of revenue certainty, the government has proposed a cap and floor scheme. Here's how that might work for a six hour battery. The revenues that a battery could earn by trading in the merchant markets might look something like this. In some years, market conditions and effective trading means that this battery makes more money. And in other years, it doesn't do so well. Now, let's add in the cap and floor. In years when a battery makes less than the floor, the government tops up the battery's revenues, meaning it's guaranteed a minimum revenue. In return, it only gives any revenue above the cap level back to the government. This means that in reality, the battery's revenue will always be between the cap and the floor. This effectively de-risks a project, and the additional certainty means that investors are more willing to invest for a lower return. In our base case scenario, two-hour batteries have the highest returns and make up the majority of build-out. If we add in the cap and floor for longer duration systems, we can see that developers build out more six-hour systems instead. Even though these have lower returns, investors are willing to fund these projects due to their lower risk profile. So a cap and floor scheme could allow for a lot more long duration batteries on the system. However, batteries aren't the only technology eligible under the scheme. Pumped hydro and newer technologies could also be funded. To read more about the impact that this might have on batteries on the system, head to the article. I'll see you there.